Carry it together. Oh yeah, that's heavy. My brotherly love, hey. Starting our trip, Adam and I are here fishing Lake Diefenbaker. Targeting rainbows mainly today. We're in the uh, back of a bay in super shallow water. And yeah, we're just gonna cover area and try to go for I got anything that swims by, but mainly white fish and rainbows will be shallow yeah. here. So we got a cold snap coming in. It was uh, what minus five two days ago, and this morning we woke up. It's minus thirty one. Yeah. So it's cold we're day. Stay warm, and we're gonna get some sight holes going and get the shack up. Stay warm. Yeah. <laughs> we crack a big rainbow. Boom. We are all set 100%. Are we? Are we going to catch anything? Well, that's just the big question now, isn't it, Sean? Why don't you show the people what you're using on your rod? No. It's a secret. <laughs> We're running the Glow in the Dark. I think it's a 16th ounce head spinner. And what's that called, Sean? The tail? The, the mini, mini, slayer. mini slayer white. We did pretty good on these up up north at the stock trout lake we fished for rainbows and splakes. So we'll see how the bite is today. It's supposed to be sunny all day. And that's what the rainbows like is the sun. So we should have the weather on our side and not the 30 below, but. You ready to go? Oh, I'm, I'm just getting my the other rod for the jaw jacker ready. Oh yeah. See if anything's in this bay. Yeah, hopefully something is. Well, I'll we'll have to go to the bay over. Here's just a tiny minnow. We're gonna put that on a treble hook, eight pound test. And we just have a little swivel there for line twist. And this one we're using a 39 medium light Vanta Black. And we'll put that out and we're gonna maximize our distance outside. So we wanna put our jaw jackers 25 yards away from the shack as far apart as each other to cover ground and we got a tip up out there. So always try to maximize your chance by covering ground ice fishing. Just setting up our jaw jacker when it's 30 below. We like to use hole insulators. I make these with my son. They're just uh, play mats for kids. That's all you do. I gotta level it better. There we go. We are moving. We're gonna do some walleye fishing a little bit deeper with the live scope. Adam's just setting up the uh, jaw jacket for trout and uh, I'm gonna try and find about 12 to 14 feet of water. Here, that should be good. Even tap me in nothing. Oh, here we go. That's a big fish. Oh, that is a big fish. Oh, Can I bring Sean's rod in? Probably a big pike. We are hooked up. Nice big pike. All right, went for the head spinner. I'm the first one on the board. Oh, you caught a pike. A little pike. Yep. We call those good eater. But we're gonna let this one go, get bigger. Boom, good old frostbite. We'll put a new one on and get back at it. Those are slow moving fish, it could be walleye. Yep. Here he comes. Go. Nice. Be interesting to see what this is. Yep. Yeah, he came higher up. Oh, it's a walleye. No way. Yep. Nice walleye. There we go. All right, pays to move. We had three fish come in there, and that walleye. Just chomped it just right off the bottom there. 
So we're doing catch and cook here hopefully today or tomorrow. So that's gonna be one of the fish. It's probably a 16 inch, so it's all right. Oh, flag's up. Nope, oh, <laughs> Yeah, I think he dropped it. These uh, fish have been very finicky on tip-ups the last few days. I've just been picking them up and dropping them. Oh, we'll reset it and wait. Sun just came out and I think the fish are starting to trigger now. So it's been cloudy for the last three days. Oh, he bit it again. What the heck? I felt like he bit it again. I think I'm just going crazy. I'm going crazy. Okay. This is my wife's tip up. It's been the best tip up for me. The pink one. The pink one always catches fish. Do we have a rainbow on here? Oh yeah, nice small rainbow. Little rainbow. Now, these are the size that got out of the nets. There's these size rainbows, and then there's the three, four pounders. There we go. That's the little guy. It's nice to see a rainbow though. Wait for his mama. All right, evening bite. I set this one up in 18 feet. I'm just taking it easy if it's a pike. Feels like a really big fish. It's not really acting like a pike, no, is it? No, not yet. Burbot or a big walleye. I just don't want it to be a pike and snap it. Like this is a big fish. This is a big, big fish. Well, I guess I should go get the pliers and stuff. Yep. I'm hoping this is a walleye because this is going to be a big one, but uh, it might be a big pike. We'll see. We've been marking a giant pike all afternoon on the sonar and it wouldn't wouldn't bite her hooks oh that's a pike it's got to be a pike had it right to the hole there but i still haven't seen it but usually when they do runs like that it's going to be a big pike it's either a pike or a giant walleye i had him right to the hole and he didn't like that didn't see it though nope Still don't have a visual. Who's gonna stick their hand in the water? I can grab the fish. <laughs> you good. Here it is. Oh, nice big pike. Yeah, 35 inch. And we're running eight pound test here. <laughs> no leader. I'm surprised it's still on. This is probably the fish we were seeing. Just, we've seen it swimming around all day. Oh yeah, he's, he's a big fish. So Diefenbaker here, our biggest pike is guiding was 40, what, 48 and a half? And we'll see how 49 inch. I go. Yeah. All right, here's the weight. Oh, it's on the side of his oh, mouth. Yeah. Right on the side? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> That's a beauty. You just got to be patient and uh, you get a nice fish. That's going to be probably 34, 35 inch. Just a fatty. Grab the treble hooks just on the side of his mouth. And he's going to hopefully get it there. That's a decent pike. We get these almost every day guiding though. Yep. And we have groups of four. Beautiful fish. Get her back. Well, Adam and I are all packed up. We're headed to do some burbot night fishing tonight. And uh, we're gonna try and catch some burbot and or get our camera guy his first burbot. But uh, right now, this is where our clients stay for the lodge. They got a full suite here. We got cooking, fridge, freezer, you know, everything you need. And uh, there's some rooms here. 
Brandon, he's staying in the room right here. So there's three beds there, just single beds. And then we got a king size bed here. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to uh, rent the lodge, you can rent it for fishing, guiding, or you could just rent it to uh, stay on the water. And everything's on our website, fishinggeeks.net. Guys, we are doing our intro in the shack. We got about uh, 40 click winds outside and we are set up here for some night fishing burbot. Brandon's joining us here from NB Edits. Howdy um, guys. He is going to try and hook his first burbot of his life and catch it. Yeah. If we don't get it from him. Yeah. <laughs> we're running the um, Deadbolt 39 medium heavy. And we're, we spooled up about 15 pound braid on the diesel reels. I'm gonna show you guys what we're using here. We just want something with glow. We're gonna be using a big head spinner glow jig and we're tipping it with a big Cisco. We got a couple deadlines outside and we're just laying Cisco's on bottom. Burbit are night feeders, so they're starting to pick up right now. Get rid of that tail piece. Did you just bite the tail piece off? <laughs> Just like Alex Parrot eat the eyeball. Remember that one spot we fished the corner that we fished the steep drop and our hooks would like slide down the steep drop. Over there. Yeah. Although we hammered fish in the morning. Oh, I got one. Yeah. 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 A little pound and a half, two pound burb. It's the right species, just need a little bigger now. Pretty cool fish, and they're a nocturnal feeder. You do get them in the daytime in the winter, but. All right. Beautiful release. Okay, we got a burbot on on the deadline out here. Usually they just swallow the bait right down, so we're gonna go grab the rod. It's just over here. Super windy, so. We got amazing conditions right now. We got hole insulators so the hole doesn't get all dirty. We do a little bit loose drag. Feels like okay size. Another small one. We'll bring him to the shack here and uh, get that hook out. But he grabbed that Cisco there. I'm gonna put this hole insulator on, cover that. And We'll let him go in the shack quickly. Oh, I just got hit. Come on. They're fighting a the fish outside. I got one in here. You got one? You're, you're fighting one? Yeah, I just hooked them. Oh, Adam's got one on. Yep. Small one again. How big is yours? Oh, it's like, this one could be an eater. Yeah, it's the same size. <laughs> Two little burbot. Doubled up. I hooked this in the shack. Sean got that on the deadline. We're gonna let these both go. We like to keep fish probably twice as big, four to eight pounders. Or I wouldn't say mine's even a pound out. Let them go. Bye bye. <laughs> Good Double. Boy. That's three. Picking up here. Oh, there's a fish on the yep, right. On the right. See him coming. Yeah. Really glued to bottom. Looks pretty decent though. Yeah. That might be a good one. He hits you. There he is, good. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah, nice one. I'm out. Oh, that's a nice one. Can we get like a four or five thousand? He's not happy. <laughs> he went right back down the bottom. This might be a bigger one than we thought. Have you got the running gun? I do, it's a little bit long, but yeah, I know. what an awesome rod. That's what we had here, so. They're amazing for like bouncing around. Oh yeah, that's a beauty. I got that, saw the tail there. Could be a 30 incher. 30 inch burb's a big burb. Comes to the head. There he goes. Ah, nice fish. Wow, there we go, dandy. Yeah, that's a better one. All right, there we go, that meathead jig bright white glow in the dark probably around five pounds six pounds maybe that's a good one very nice fish that was awesome the guy's got me on my first burbot i'm excited <laughs> first burbot and he's behaving look at that so pretty well some people probably wouldn't call him pretty but i do <laughs> little belly on him uh, the guy said this is the perfect size for eating so we are going to take this one home with us maybe do a little catch and cook 
It was like a really light tap, like he's trying to suck it in. Yeah, you know, he's still there. I'm just gonna not oh, say he's anything. Back. He's there. Got him? Yeah. That. Yep. Good. I'll bring in. He doesn't look like a monster. Yeah, you bring in, I'll go back down. Yep. I'm just in the middle. I'm just in your guys' way. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty decent. Yeah, just pull them in. Nice. Can't go too much further back with the old running gun. <laughs> <laughs> Liking that meathead, eh? Yeah. Yeah, that meathead jig, you just uh, take your headlamp and let her glow, and you can see that green light. They're loving it. You get them unhooked, and yeah, good fish. There we are. Beauty Burbot, another one. A little bit smaller than the last, so we're going to go ahead and send them back. Woo! They got such cool colors to them. Well, come on, this way. Turn around. Ready? Say bye. See ya, buddy. Beautiful. How neat. Two of them. I wasn't sure if I was expecting to even catch one. I'm just kidding. I'm with these guys. We're going to hammer them. Number five. Well, we're back out in the windstorm. We've got another one. We're out here in the five million kilometer wind. And we got our second deadline fish on. See if it feels a little bigger. Gee, wind is ripping, snowing. Not the best conditions. Nope, another little guy. Bourbon are very tough. We'll get him back so he doesn't freeze here. You guys let me know when a fish comes in, I'm gonna sleep. You have sleep this afternoon. I'm gonna have more sleep. I'm gonna be like Adam. <laughs> yeah, be like me. So if you guys have a lake that have bourbon in them and you don't know kind of where to start to target them, first thing to do is come out at dusk. Set up at dusk and fish as long as you can, pretty much. Sometimes the bourbon don't turn on until like midnight, two in the morning at certain times of the year. Ice fishing is usually the best time to catch them because they could come up shallow and uh, there's really no thermocline in the lake so they could kind of be anywhere. Do you want to fish uh, places where it's sandy bottoms? Yeah. And uh, try to find a steep drop and you could actually set up right at the bottom of the drop or along the drop. But they like uh, sandy, sandy bottoms. And uh, sometimes if you're not catching them in lots of spots, mouth, the mouths of bays go to 25, 30 feet. Every lake's different, but uh, a lot of it's just putting your time in and going to do it. If you could find an area too that has boulders down there, uh, the burbot like eating crayfish, if there's any crayfish in your lake set up by some boulders uh, they'll they'll slither around the boulders and hunker right beside them in the daytime and at night they get out from the boulders and they go searching so yeah wow that fish oh, came out of nowhere nice. oh, up here. yeah get out of your way i'm just getting out of everyone's way here didn't even mark that guy oh. yeah, just another little one yeah. that one was aggressive just got the jig out, just a tiny little guy. I'm gonna go ahead and get him back down there right away. Didn't even see that one come in on the live scope. He must have come in from the other direction. We have the transducer set up so that we can see all three of our holes perfectly. So, you know, pointing this way and that, we'll be able to see them come in. If they come in on the other side, they might surprise us like that one did. Well, we had quite the, quite the burbot bite there slowed down in the last hour we've only got one small one so we're going to call it a night the weather's starting to turn here we're getting some heavy snow and wind so we just want to make it back safe so yeah it was good uh how'd you how'd you like it hey i had fun i had a blast man <laughs> i uh never done it before and you know it's it's nothing too crazy you know yep. there's definitely a lot of you know knowledge on your guys's end where you know, it takes some time to learn all that kind of stuff, but to come out with you and learn some new techniques, I had a lot of fun. It was a yep. good time. Well, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll maybe get another video out here soon for you guys.